at our local Goodwill down the street from our house. We're gonna go in there, see what we can find, to flip online for a profit. But I will tell you this, we do like summer. Don't get me wrong, we like the tourists in Myrtle Beach, everybody comes down here. But a lot of times they go to their Goodwill, right? Right now it's like 9.15, 9.30, they've been open for 30 minutes, as you can tell. Nobody around. There ain't nobody here. So that's pretty good because a lot of times in the summertime, this place is packed. Nine o'clock, there's a line. Guess what? When school's in town, Goodwill shopping is not in town. We're gonna go in here. Hopefully there's some pretty cool stuff. What is that I see? This is a Coleman, we're, we're gonna go over that in a second. This one caught my eye. A Coleman Kentucky Fried Chicken. Stop it. Shut your mouth right now. Look at that clean thing. Oh, she's getting bald. This is super cool. I actually think that I looked this up and this is a good buy. I'm almost positive. Somebody said the other day about bins being expensive. You are 100% right. Here they want five bucks for bins, which is pretty, pretty insane. I mean, you can buy them for a little bit more than that for free. This one's actually got something in it, I think. Maybe not, but that's just super heavy. No, nah, it's empty. Just bins. Where's the cow? Caution, this trivet is designed to be placed behind heated and extremely hot items. Oh, cow trivet, that was pretty cool. This right here, they want three bucks for it. It's probably worth about 15. It's gonna be a hybrid head cover because it's smaller. It does have the clips in there, which is, if it didn't have the clips, I wouldn't buy it. But since it does have the clips, I'll go ahead and get it for three bucks. Easy $10 profit. always look for 4k players that sometimes the blue rays do pretty good but a lot of times it's the 4k that are worth some decent amount of money this one's probably not worth a whole bunch 30 dollars what's inside stolen 100 percent because you know they didn't mark this case for 30 bucks. I'm telling you, man, there's some theft at the Goodwill. We've been noticing that a lot recently, like things that have been cut open and you know that wouldn't be cut open, so. Is that the pier out of table? Huh? What is that, a rocket? Yeah, watch it. Whoa. Rocket, what is that? That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? You charge it, I guess. So it has like... That's pretty neat. Comes off of it. Really? Mm-hmm. That or I just broke it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What are these things? Is it? So there's specimen slides. They're Ooh. like... Prepared slide. Really? Yeah, there's like snake. That's a uh, brand that does a whole bunch of stuff like this. Look at. I bet you they're pretty good for two bucks. A periodic table. Elements. Whoa. I feel like if a you, would like that. if you're an element, what element would you be? Me? Yeah. I would be. <laughs> That's a tough question. That's a tough question. Who knows? Hey, wouldn't it be cool if these were real? If they were like actually old pipes, yeah. they're made in China, so that's this is like a thing. But it would be neat. Is this considered cross stitch or needlepoint? Or wouldn't that be considered cross stitch because it's stitched? You got yelled at in the uh, comments one time. <laughs> <laughs> Things that I don't know. These some of these pictures go for good money. I don't know about that one, but. What you get over there? Look at that thing. Good luck. Dude, we saw a uh, ring one time with the Celtic uh, heart thing. It's only $1.99. This will be on our whatnot auction coming up soon. Really, really cool. This would be like an ornament, maybe? Mm -hmm. So, that ain't too bad. Why do they have this price at $4.99? <laughs> Man, if that was like $1.99, I would definitely pick that up. That's a nice brass. 
small chain sharp, but for five bucks, I mean, you have to sell that thing for like 15 to make any profit on it. One's on Cherish for 85 bucks. <laughs> Cherish is that thing that everybody says don't go off of it because it's ridiculous. Um, 17, I, you know what? I might have to put my foot in my mouth. This thing might actually sell for 15 or 20 bucks. They got $6 in shipping. That doesn't seem right. It seems like it's about eight ounces. So we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna pick this up. I think that's a good buy. It's in this box. It's heavy, super heavy. Whole bunch of all thread and screws. How much is that that for? $3. that purse over there Ooh. sometimes these oh these are brand spanking new 2.99 a lot of times uh water filters are at least 20 bucks oh bad sell through rate hate it for you but you gotta stay what is that thing it's a recoil starter assembly what does that do I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the parts company. It's an aftermarket part for something, right? Yeah. Oh, it's for a um, the pool start for like a lawnmower or something. Huh. How much do they sell for? I think I have to put in that number. Yeah. That one sold for 38 bucks to Briggs and Stratton. One, five, zero, six, seven, one. 13 free shipping, 13 free shipping. Yeah, we got the lower quality here. Uh, this one goes to a what? Uh, it actually doesn't, doesn't even say what engine it goes to. Some of them actually went pretty good. Oh, it goes to like an Echo. I don't even know what engine that is. That's probably why. If it went to like a John Deere or something, it would be more expensive. Or Briggs and Stratton one went for 38 bucks. So always gotta comp things out. I thought this was a Tamagotchi. <laughs> Dang. Here, you can put your Tamagotchi in there. I could put my di a dinosaur in here. Right? Yeah, like a stuffed dinosaur? Oh yeah, this is happening here. Grow like a plant in there and then put a dinosaur. No, 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 no. That a stuffed dinosaur is getting put in there. It's the great pumpkin. Uh, uh. I think it's pretty beat up here. Oh yeah, the grill bed falling apart. It's my dad's favorite animal. Canadian goose. Hey look, dad's favorite animal. The Canadian goose. <laughs> oh, dad loves Canadian geese. What's that back here? kiss a penny a hug for saving our money a little in a little brown jug <laughs> that's cool that's cool it's only three bucks don't we need a new jug for our pennies yeah there you go that's cute that's cute we save our change now in a drawer Dang, these actually aren't expired. You never find non-expired ink. You can make an easy five bucks a piece on these. You think that's a good deal? Easy to ship, easy to list? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Red. What else we got? Grapes. My bowl's still here that I tried to give you. Nobody's bought it yet. I tried to 
Give you that bowl and make it. Anybody see anything good? Ooh, what is this? Cat. Cat and a pumpkin. It's weird. I could go on my egg. The dragon. Rack out, let's see what they uh, This is the first time we've ever found one of these, ever. This is a very expensive Grateful Dead shirt. And oh my goodness. Bro, this is single stitch. It's the real deal. Like the real deal. I, my hand's actually shaking a little bit. Do you know how much this thing's worth? No. <laughs> is there another one? No, there's not. I'm serious, stay close to the rack. When there's one, there might be two. Look for another liquid blue. We've just never found one before, ever. Like, look at every t-shirt. Sorry, I'm like buttoning because I'm super excited. That nah, I think that's the only one. Sorry. There's a Harley Davidson one, probably not worth a whole bunch. Never have I ever uh, found one of these before, or I didn't find it actually. We kind of both found it at the same time. That's, that's insane. Isn't that neat looking? It's definitely handmade, right? And they just nailed pieces of gears on here. It's like a bearing. Oh, wow. It's neat. They want seven bucks for them. I don't know if there would be, you could flip it. I don't know if there'd be a market out there for something like this. I mean, we they could, are cool. Though. Yeah, they're cool. I don't know if we could ship them or somebody would want that um, locally. No? Not digging it? No. I, I mean, I think it's really cool. Though, yeah. I just don't That's a nice know. lamp. Is that leather? It's like no. rusty. Oh, yeah. I think it means it's um, vintage. It's rusty. This desk back in the day was a atomic bomb saver, an earthquake uh, protector. Uh, tornado. tornado if you got under this desk in the 90s you can survive anything you get under here and put your hands over your head or in a doorway whatever you're closest to but this desk right here it actually can be you know it's multifunction. all right we didn't get this on video because I, I basically ran away with the Grateful Dead shirt uh, Kayla also picked up a uh, Lily we do really good selling Lily yeah. stuff extra small not a really great size but it'll still sell yeah. you think it'll sell like probably next spring or people probably yeah. buy, it, buy it now yeah. I think it might be like a nightgown. Nightgown? 100 cotton, made in Peru. I don't know. But, the but graphic is lilies always sell. We got Turvis. Turvis? Oh yeah, they're good. Actually, I think cups are only like 60 cents. That's Those a good nice. set right there. I guarantee you that's like 20 bucks. Also be good on whatnot because they're easy to ship, easy to list, and they're like super cool. Yeah. So they're in good condition too. They're not scratched up. Oh, this one's got a little boo-boo on it. See it? It's not cracked or anything, it just looks funny. Is it cracked? Yeah. It is cracked, so, but these aren't. So we'll just do the three. We'll just do the three. Are they mini plates? No, somebody has decoupage or glue. Decoupage? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. They really put the work into those things. That's a... Uh... Look at this whole set. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, who would buy that? My dad. And then he would say, nice I love, I love to ship glass. That's what dad says. Ew, what is that? Are Do you, you hungry in the Goodwill? Do you want to touch yeah. it? Yeah. Ew, that is, that's not good looking. Seriously. You want some Chinese? No. I can't even see. Frozen moments. Made in Australia? I guarantee it's worth money. But that is in such poor condition. How about some spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. Dude, frozen moments go for like a billion dollars. Now this is frozen moments. This is different. Uh, yeah, the nasty one goes for one seventy nine. <laughs> what is going on here? Hot wheel things full of Hot Wheels. What do we think? What do we think? Six bucks. Oh yeah, it's full of something. Oh yeah, full. For six bucks. Y'all buying this for six bucks? Malaysia. Got some cat stuff in here. Looking for those red line ones. Wouldn't it be cool to open that up and that was all red line, like from back in the day? That would be insane, but I think for uh for what this is, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Well, I have to tell you that was probably one of the best one trips in 30 minutes ever at a Goodwill. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. It's very seldom that you find something over $100 in a Goodwill to flip. It's very, 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 very rare that you find three items over $100 to flip. The shirt and the two, and the two frozen moment things are probably gonna go, some of those go over $300 where food is frozen. Now these are in pretty rough condition, but we have an idea we're gonna use like compressed air to clean them really well. And I still think they're gonna go for a lot of money. Like the spaghetti, probably maybe 200 to 300 bucks. And the other one's gonna be about 175. But definitely the thing that uh, is just amazing is our find of the Grateful Dead 1996 shirt. We just have never found one. It's on the liquid blue tag. It is single stitched. Uh, some of these obviously are like remade. This one it has all the markings obviously that it's not a remake. So 150 bucks there. And then seriously, this is the wildest thing I have ever seen and you look and honestly we looked at it and we were thinking this can't be worth a whole bunch of money and I looked it up because it's unique and boom 175 probably 150 to 300 we'll have to do some more research on that one but super super cool just I mean just really neat stuff so you said find anything unique in a goodwill I mean I would definitely go ahead and look it up one of the best days at the goodwill thrifting is not dead i'll tell you that especially around here remember if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button we're getting close to 100 000, so that's pretty good that's not terrible so if you would subscribe comment down below like the video and you know i will always get you on the next one